Partially settling the score after an embarrassing NBA Cup group stage loss to the Atlanta Hawks minus Trey Young, the Celtics scored a season-high 139 points in a 25-point stomping of the Brooklyn Nets. As well as accounting for their own mistakes, Jalen Brown's beef with Nike entering a new chapter has led to JB taking care of childish behavior from one of the biggest companies in the world. Stay tuned for the details on that. Right quick, over 80% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and follow at Hoops on Instagram and Twitter for a follow back. Jason Tatum is leading the league in total points after 13 games. Along with averaging a career high 30.2 points per game, JT's posting career highs in average steals and assists. Off to an MVP level start to the season, Jason's leading the league in not only total points, but combined points, rebounds, and assists. He's of course leading the Celtics in points per game to go along with rebounds per game and assists per game. This is obviously the best player Tatum's ever been, something Tatum's attributed to his age. Being in, in better physical shape, right? And being in 26, this is the best physically I've felt compared to other years. And I think that's just me coming into my home. Against the Nets in Brooklyn, Tatum had 36, 10, and 9. Missoula asked if he wanted to stay in for his 10th board, but Jason's no stat patter, as he politely declined that request from Joe. While the Celtics have had some rough patches, things are still going relatively smooth for the reigning champions. 10-3 on the season, with 8 of their games having been on the road, this impressive record's been compiled with Porzingis, still haven't yet to suit up. Chris Stapps has, however, been warming up more before games, and Tingus Pingus being around the team in the first place has evidently provided a boost. Yeah, Kip, he was, he was uh, even tonight, he was like very verbal. Yeah, he was like, you know, in his like coaching bag, you know, like giving guys um, what he was seeing out there. So that's that's a good sign, it's a good signal that he's, he's getting close, he's getting ready, um, but his mind, his spirit is out there with us, um, and we can't wait to welcome him back. Five players in the NBA have made 50 or more threes this season. Three of them are on the Celtics in Jason Tatum, Derek White, and Peyton Pritchard. Snipers. As a matter of fact, Tatum, White, and Pritchard have hit more triples combined than 16 NBA teams defensively against the Nets. Unfortunately, Derek White was initially whistled for a foul on this block where his springiness, timing, and defensive precision are put on full display amidst the denial of Zaire Williams. But Missoula challenged the call and it was overturned. White's tied with Cade Cunningham of the Detroit Pistons for the league lead in blocks among guards. Luke Cornett would swiftly stick with this momentum crossover from Taylor Martin to display his lateral quickness for his 7-1 frame as he'd swat Martin's layup off the backboard. Luke Cornott today. Peyton Pritchard's breakout season has consisted of him posting 16-3-3, leading the league in bench points, and being top five among all players in three-pointers made. The top candidate for sixth man of the year has even stepped up in the leadership department, as Pritchard gave his take on how the Celtics came up short against the Hawks. To a point, you don't necessarily need to address it. Like Everybody's very disappointed. Uh, I was very disappointed in myself. I felt like I came out with no energy yesterday. Um, and like it showed, like we had no pop, and you know we we got humbled uh, yesterday. We didn't respect our opponent, and, um, but we came back today, and it showed the character of our team. We came in and fought and got the job done. What was your approach? I mean, just come out with energy. I just was not myself last game. Like I said, no pop. Defensively, I didn't like the intensity shots, not attacking the the paint or anything like that. So I was definitely disappointed. So tonight, I wanted to come in and. You know, I wasn't like saying I'm gonna score a lot, but like just like to attack and, and cause, cause be a problem. Why was that? Just one of those nights? Yeah, I mean, you play 82 of them. I think sometimes you know you try to keep your routine as precise as possible, but some days you just kind of lack an energy. So mentally, you gotta like fight through it. While Peyton had a game second most, only behind Tatum and Brown of 23 points, while compiling eight assists, six rebounds, and five threes, becoming the first Eastern Conference player off the bench to ever record at least those numbers, it was Joe Missoula crediting Pritchard's defense post game. Yeah, ball pressure. Uh, again, two way player. Uh, his ball pressure. He got some deflections. He got some steals. Re-establishing a beef that transpired in the Olympics when 2024 Eastern Conference Finals MVP and Finals MVP Jalen Brown questioned whether or not his Olympic snub was due to him not partnering with Nike due to Nike's ties to Team USA. 
One of the biggest companies in the world's official Twitter account just threw shade at Jalen Brown. First off, for context, after Giannis elbowed Jalen before adding insult to injury by faking out a handshake, Brown had this to say. Giannis hit you with, with the offensive foul, and then he like faked, shook your hand, and pulled it back. Are you laughing at that? Do you think it's funny, or does that kind of piss you off? Um, Giannis is a child. You know, I'm just focused on helping my team get a win, and that's what we did tonight. Nike would use that clip, along with Giannis dropping 59 points, to tweet out, Nothing childish about him. 59 for the Greek freak. In addition to Giannis doing what he did to Brown, Adetokounmpo also avoided both a flagrant and even a foul being called on him at all when he entered Tatum's landing space and caused Jason to turn his ankle. Those were two definitively childish plays. Also, the Celtics have beaten the Bucks twice already this season. So whoever's in charge of that Nike Twitter account should be fired. Brown responded to their tweet by saying, Y'all got some weird energy. Tatum spoke on the play involving Giannis. It's certain calls I just feel like you, you can't miss, right? You, your job is protect the guys on the court, protect the shooter. That's something I could have been out for six weeks or whatever. Uh, so for it to be a no call, let alone they didn't get to review it or look at it, right? Then, you know, I lose my shit, cut somebody out, and then I get a tech. And it's like a double whammy. So, I mean, that shit is frustrating. Uh, when all you get is the, sorry, we missed it. You know, your ankle's swollen, you gotta figure it out. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely was frustrated. Repeating is harder than ever before in the modern NBA, and Jalen Brown's well aware of the hurdles the 24-25 sees face. I think the, the biggest challenge for us is just continuing to find joy, just being competitive, not going through the motions, and stuff like that. Like, uh, complacency starts to set in once you know you're you feel like you're the better team and then you just don't do your job. So I think that for us, it's just going to be a mentality um, all season long is just to just uh, be aggressive and just take care of business um, from beginning to end. I think that would be a big challenge. Also, here was both Brown and Tatum on how they handled a bad loss to the Hawks. Yeah, yesterday uh, I said after the game that me and JT had to be better, we had 11 combined turnovers. Tonight we only had one, um, so much better. We just gotta make that a habit um, and be that consistently throughout the year. Emotionally, um, the more staying level that you, you stay at, I think the better you'll be. Um, I mean, you can't get too high on, on wins or too low on losses. Um, I'm not saying that you sweep them under the rug. You acknowledge what transpired and, 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 and why you lost and, and we did that and um, you know we're all professionals we, we knew that we could have played better and you know we dropped the ball and some things um, but the sign of a really good team is how you respond and coming off the back to back we were down out um, we just played this team a couple days ago we took it in overtime and I think we responded in a, in a great way this was your boy D Flow and I'll see you next video